This is the universal curette. We're going to be using it on the buckle of number 18 here. First, we'll start off on at the distal line angle. Uh, we will activate the secondary blade. So we will start at the distal line angle here, and then you're going to insert subgingively, closing the blade, and then start activating overlapping strokes, and then rolling and pivoting to get into the distal and then up and down strokes till you're halfway. Then you're going to come back out and then readjust to go mesially and then closing the blade to insert subgingively and then you're going to activate oblique strokes going mesially. Nice short controlled strokes. And then rolling and pivoting to go mesially and then couple up and down strokes when you're in the mesial. This is the UC Carette again on the uh, buckle of number 18. Starting at the distal line angle, we'll go ahead and activate short controlled overlapping strokes going into the distal, making sure to keep the terminal shank upright. Then going halfway into the distal, we'll stop there and then come back out. And then back at that distal line angle to go mesially. And then short oblique strokes going mesially. And then pivoting and rolling to go into the mesial contact. We're at the distal line angle again, and we're going to go ahead and go distally. So short strokes, keeping that leading third adapted. Okay, then we'll come back out, start at that distal line angle again, and then just rock. And then approaching that mesial line angle, we'll start rolling and pivoting. making sure to keep that terminal shank upright. So this is the UC on the buckle of number 15. So using a UC to go distally, you always need to have an intraoral fulcrum. So we'll fulcrum on the lingual cusp of any of the posterior teeth that are in front of the teeth, the in front of the tooth that you're working on. So we'll fulcrum about here, and then you'll place the secondary blade against the distal line angle there, and then just rock and go distally and then stop about halfway, then come out. Going measly, you are allowed to use the extra oral fulcrum, so you will be resting the back of your hand on the angle of the mandible. And then we'll start at the distal line angle again, and then just short pulling motion. And then approaching that mesial line angle, you'll start rolling and pivoting to go mesially. So this is the UC on the buckle of the uh, of number 15 again. So we will be fulcruming on the lingual cusp and then start at the distal line angle and then just rock and go distally. And then come back out and then going mesially, you can use an extra oral fulcrum resting on the side of the face and then start at the distal line angle and then short pulling strokes and then coming around the mesial line angle you'll go ahead and um, roll the instrument and pivot as well.